in case there is problem, it says the borrower took out a loan of 100000 and promised to repay with the payment at the end of each year for 30 years. So the amount of the first 10 payments equals the amount of interest due. So what does that mean? It means that if the amount of the first payment equals the amount of interest due, then that means that consists of a hundred thousand loan times the effective interest rate of ten percent, which is ten thousand, right? So ten thousand would be paid out um, throughout the first ten years, but uh, again, this arrives to the concept of interest plus uh, principal equals payment, right? So just because interest is paid out during the first 10 years, that doesn't uh, reduce the balance of the principal of $100,000. So now as we go on, it says the amount of each of the next 10 payments equals one 50% of the amount of interest due. So the amount of interest due of 10,000 times 150%, which is 1.5, uh, is um, 15,000, right? So 15,000. So these are payments, right? So throughout the next 10 years, uh, payments of 15,000 are being paid out whereas uh, payments of interest are being paid out of 10,000, right? So that means that if I were to do a payment of $15,000 and an interest of $10,000, we would find that the principal would equal $500,000, $5,000, right? That means that uh, if we are able to make a payment of 15,000 and we make a payment of interest, we subtract both and we find out that the principal that is being paid out is $5,000, which means that $100,000 is finally decreased by $5,000, which is $95,000. Uh, if we were to go on to the next segment, we would see that uh, during the 12th year, um, we would pay out 10% of 10% uh, interest, which would consist of 9,500 interest, right? Because 10% of the because the uh, interest paid out is is represented as 10% as the outstanding balance that we have here of the principal. And another thing here is that um, on top of 9,500 being the interest being paid, we also have to multiply 1.5 as the payment by it, which we get from here of 14250, right? So if we were to subtract both of these, we would get a principal of 4750, right? So we noticed that during the 11th year, we had a principal of 5,000 being paid out, and we also had a principal of 4,750 being paid out, which means that we could form some sort of ratio to see that uh, the, the loan balance is going to decrease by a certain rate each year. So we're going to do 4750 divided by 5,000 to find some sort of ratio of principal payments. And we find out that each principal payment would has a relationship of being decreased by 0.95 per year, which means that I could take the loan of 100,000 and multiply it by the rate of a decrease of 0.95 per year for 10 years to find that the outstanding balance by the end of 20 years is, uh, is a hundred thousand times 0.95 to the 10, which is 59873.69. 
Now it says towards the end, it says that the amount of each of the last 10 payments is X. So that would mean that we would have to set the outstanding balance of what occurs at time 20 to equal X of the remaining payments that we have for the last 10 years of the 30 years at an effective interest rate of 10%. And that means that we could use our TVM. So, Five nine eight seven three dot six nine as the present value, ten as the number of years, ten as the interest rate, zero as the future value. We compute payment as nine thousand seven forty four point seventeen, which makes X. So it's D.